North Carolina, we have Tom Tillis, born into a working class family. Every dollar counted, and a hard day's work was standard practice. I actually grew up in a family of six kids, and uh, I tell people that we lived on the economic bubble. When times were good, we lived in houses. Sometimes they were owned, sometimes they were rented, and when times were bad, uh, we lived in trailer parks. After I graduated from high school, I went to work in a warehouse. I graduated about 14th out of 480 kids, had a lot of prospects for going to college, but we didn't have that mindset of you, you, you graduate from high school, you go get a job. He graduated from high school and went straight into the work world. He worked his way up from, you know, stock boy and service merchandise up to manager. All that hard work paid off. Now, with a young family and a career, Getting an education was quite the ordeal. I literally had a four-year-old and a two-year-old baby wandering around in the background while I'm working on a term paper at the same time that I'm managing the implementation of a huge project up in Washington, D.C. After a successful private sector career, Tom was inspired to work for public service. In fact, only serving part-time, Tom finally had to make a pivotal choice between working in the private sector and working in public office. It was like a Jerry Maguire moment. A friend and my managing partner called me and, uh, at IBM and, and basically said, Tom, we really need you to come back full-time, which was a way of saying they wanted me to quit the legislature and come back. And I told him that, you know, to be honest with you, I felt like I'm serving a higher purpose now and that I was going to run first to get us to a majority. And then if we did, I had the potential for being speaker. And I said, for some reason, that just seems more important to me right now. And the Jerry Maguire moment was when I was going home, you know, almost singing that I'm free song. And then going, holy smokes, I haven't talked with Susan about this. But I did call her up on the way home and she's been very supportive. 